welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to optimize windows 10 for gaming uh, this will be the best setting for the high fps without any kind of delay so if you are still using windows 10 in 2023 then you must go with these optimization that will surely help you in the gaming and even for the best performance so without any delay let's quickly get started now before starting i would recommend you that you should go ahead and create a restore point so that if this doesn't work or due to any reason you want to revert the action then you can quickly do that very simple click on your windows search type create and in the suggestion you will be getting create a restore point click on it this kind of box will be up now here at the bottom you will find the create option in case if it is not been highlighted then you have to click on configure and enable the system protection click apply ok and you will find the create option now so click on it now give any kind of name like windows 10 optimization so that you can quickly remember it you can also add the date if you want to now click on create and it will take few seconds and your system restore point will be created ok it's been done so now we can proceed with the troubleshooting optimization so the first thing you have to do you need to disable the high precision event timer for that right click on the windows icon click on device manager in the device manager you have to look for the system devices double click on it and in the system devices somewhere you will find high precision event timer simply make a right click on it and choose disable device and then click on yes and then you can close it next make a right click on the windows icon click on run type temp hit the enter key now here you will find bunch of file i have already cleared it but you will find a lot of file so you need to press ctrl a to select all then press the shift and the delete key to delete them permanently once you are done right click on windows icon again click on run type percent temp percent then click on ok again and here also you will find a lot of file press ctrl a to select all then press shift and delete key and then click on yes check the box click on escape next right click on the windows icon click on settings in the settings here you have to click on system then from the left in menu option you have to click on storage and here it will calculate all kind of storage that has been occupied by different kind of categories so you need to look for the temporary file click on it and this will list you all kind of subcategories like uh, recycle bin, the download item, temporary internet file, thumbnail, shader cache. So if you don't need the item in the recycle bin, in the download, then you can check them. If you want it, then you can uncheck it. Rest, check all of them. And then you have to click on remove file. And it will take some time and it will be all deleted. And here in the settings only from the left in menu option, you have to look for the remote desktop click on it and make sure that this option has been disabled as majority of the people they do not use it it run in the background so you will have to disable it so turn off the toggle then click on confirm so once you are done again you have to go back and this time here you have to look for privacy so click on privacy and here you have to disable all kind of windows and the app permission which you are not using so from the windows permission you have to disable all of them do the same with the speech inking and typing personalization diagnostic and feedback and then in the app permission whichever you don't use like location then you can go ahead and disable it if you don't use the camera microphone voice activation then you can disable it or rest you can leave it now come below and you'll find phone call call history email now i don't think that people are using the phone call the call history email client on their windows now so it's a good idea that you should click on it and disable all of them even below you'll find messaging radios they run in the background occupy a lot of uh, usage so simply go ahead and disable them okay and then you will find the most important part that is the background app so you will have to click on it and here on the top you will find let app run in the background simply toggle it off once done you have to close it next click on your windows search type app wiz.cpl hit the enter key now here it will list you all kind of application and program that you have installed on your computer 
Now many times you install some application but in future you don't use it. Sometimes you accidentally install many of the application and software. So look for the list here whichever you don't use you don't identify simply go ahead and uninstall them. You can uninstall them by making a right click on it and choose uninstall. And now next you have to click on your windows search. Type power cfg.cpl Hit the enter key. So now here you will find all kind of power plan that has been activated on your computer. So you will have to click on the drop down and click show additional plan. And somewhere you will find the high performance. So you will have to select it. In case if you don't find the high performance, then I have already created a video. You can check that video how to bring this option back. Okay, so once you have selected on the right side, you will find change plan setting. Click on it. Then click change advanced power setting. And now here make sure it's been selected to either ultimate or the high performance. Then below you will find the PCI Express. Double click on it. Double click on link state power management. And make sure the setting has been turned off. Then in the processor power management, double click on it. And in the minimum processor state, it should be 100%. And even in the maximum processor state, it should be 100%. Okay, so keep both minimum and maximum to 100. And then you can click on OK. Then you have to go back. And then from the left hand menu option only, you will find choose what the power button do. Click on it. Then click change setting that are currently unavailable. And make sure this turn on fast startup option has been disabled. It should be unchecked. However, it's recommended because it will be helping you to fast start the computer. But due to which there are many programs that run in the background and that can create a problem while restarting or after using the computer once it gets restarted. So turn off this option and then click on save changes and then click on close and now next click on your windows search type sys dm.cpl hit the enter key the system properties will be up now here from the top menu option you have to click on advanced in the performance you have to click on settings and it should be selected to let windows choose what best for my computer you need to go with the third option choose adjust for best performance and this will disable all the animation that is not required but there are few which you will require like show thumbnail instead of icon and then you'll find the smooth edges of a screen font make these two options checked then click on apply then click on ok and now you can close it now we are only remaining with the final step so where you have to enable the game mode option so click on your windows search type game mode in this suggestion you will be getting game mode setting you have to click on it and here you will find the game mode option make sure this option has been enabled and here only from the left hand menu option click on xbox game bar and you have to disable this option okay disable this option xbox game bar and enable the game mode option and that's it you are all done now simply go ahead and restart the computer and you will find now that the computer has been now properly optimized for the gaming and for the best performance so that's all guys do not forget to like and subscribe before leaving for any kind of doubt any kind of question you can let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye